up everybody hk2 production i got sam with me what's up now you saw when we was out in aurora we caught some uh perch one speckled trout several bass now we're gonna do a cook now this is the first ever on my channel i've told you i was gonna do catch and cook this is a new year so i want to do things differently so far this year caught speckled trout again caught a striped bass so that's two new species that I've never caught. And it's all thanks to my man Sam, because if he didn't take me out to these spots, I wouldn't have caught him. So I appreciate that. No buddy. problem, anytime. Now we're gonna get out here, I'm gonna show you the things that we're gonna use to cook these fish. Now what kind of fish are we cooking today? We're gonna fry the perch and we're gonna do a broil technique on the bass. Mmm, yeah, yeah. Yep. So, and I see Sam's daughter over here, she's like, yeah, it's good, it's good. So we're gonna get to it. As always, we got more live action coming to you. Yep. All right, y'all, so as you can see, this is what we're gonna be using for our bass and our perch. We got some aluminum foil, Old Bay seasoning, salt, pepper, butter, Italian dressing, frying oil, and Abbott seafood bread. So we about to get it and let's start preparing. We have, what you got up in here? Uh, just some, uh... Price of rolling in some beans for some sides. Okay, so that's gonna be the sides right here. And we're gonna do a broil and a fry. Who doesn't like a good catch and cook? Am I right, y'all? Comment below if you like what was done and if you wanna see more of this too. All right. First, we're gonna go ahead and broil the bass. First thing you're gonna need, nice big old piece. I prefer the heavy duty aluminum foil. It just holds up a little better. What we got here is just some Olive Garden Italian dressing. You can use whatever dressing you like. Um, doesn't need much. All we want to do is just enough to kind of cut the aluminum foil, keep it from sticking. Just like that. Now we're gonna lay our fillets directly on top of that. All right. Sam should have his own cooking channel. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do just a little light sprinkling of Old Bay up here. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. A little bit of salt, pepper. That's a little more flavor to me, but I'm no professional chef. And then, biggest knife I have for this. We're just going to, a couple little thin pats of butter. Doesn't take a lot, just a little bit. Just like that. And what you're gonna want to do, fold this over and seal up your edges nice and tight. Make like a little steam packet for it to cook in. And that's it. And we're gonna put this in the oven directly on the rack or you can put it on the pan if you want. We're gonna broil it. I put the oven on bake 400, 425 degrees for about 12 minutes and it should be good and done and flaky and good to go. Let's get it in there. Okay, so next we got the fried perch. Now for the, for the breading, all I did was use some Abbott seafood breader and add in enough Old Bay to season how you like it. I don't even put any salt and pepper on it, just the breader and Old Bay, and that's it. Yeah, that's enough seasoning there, boy, I that's tell you. It. Just make sure you get it coated all the way around so everything is good and covered. I'm gonna set those right over here. You can also put your breader in a, a big giant Ziploc bag, mm -hmm. throw your fish in there and shake it around. I just, I like getting my hands on it. You know? <laughs> I feel like when you put them in a the plastic bag and shake them, sometimes it don't get all the breader on it. Yeah, that way. Then it gets like wet and. I can make sure I'm getting inside all the all the other little spots and stuff. So what he's doing now is he's heating up the fryer oil 
Now, when you heat yours up, do you let it get hot and then you turn it down, or how do you do? I'll yours? let it get hot and then I'll turn it down just a little bit. Um, you don't want to cook with the on high. What you end up doing is burning the oil, and then mm -hmm. all the breading that settles in the bottom burns, and then whatever you cook after that just has that burnt flavor. All right, now we got our oil heated up. We don't have a lot in there, half an inch of oil in there maybe or so. When we're just doing some thin fillets, so you don't need a whole lot. I like to shake off the excess breading. You don't want to overcrowd the pot. That should be enough there. Just let it do its magic. Yes, sir. And then use the paper towel to soak up the grease. For those that don't really know how to cook fish. <laughs> These thin fillets, you probably don't need about three minutes per batch. There you go. That's good. Scrumptious. We'll do the rest of them the same way. Okay, now the broiled bass is ready to come out. Nice little steam bag there. Look at that plate. We had to sell them plates, man. Yep. <laughs> now that looks delicious. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Mm. Might have to come back to y'all in a little bit. <laughs> All right, y'all. So as you can see, we got a new addition to the crew. You wanna say your name? Olivia. All right, so this is Sam's daughter. She's one of the tasters and uh, how was the fish? Good. It's good? It is delicious, y'all.
I can't wait to finish eating, so I'm trying to hurry up and do this outro so I can go eat. But uh, Sam, man, awesome job, man. This is this is gorgeous. Good plate presentation, and you know, definitely I'm no professional chef. I just I know what tastes good to me. So you know, and hopefully look, everybody out there likes it. Try it. Leave mm -hmm. us a comment. Let you know. Let us know what you think about it. And uh, plate's going for ten dollars, y'all. <laughs> YouTube special. <laughs> no, but overall, though, I enjoyed this. This is a new year. Happy New Year to everyone. And just try to get out your comfort zone. That's what I'm doing. And sometimes you have to link up with somebody to get you out of your comfort zone. Sam's getting me out of my comfort zone because stuff like this, I never imagined that I would be doing. So I want to say special thanks to Sam, Olivia, and everybody out there in the community watching, liking, and subscribing. And not being a ghost subscriber, but subscribing and watching the content, y'all. We need to help one another out on yep. this community. As always, be safe out there. HK2 Production, Sam Sumlin, Miss Olivia, and we out. Later.